Now, what are the corporate credit products of banks? Under corporate credit, first is overdraft. The corporate borrower is given overdraft or cash credit. What is the difference between overdraft and cash credit? Both overdraft and cash credit, the entries is the account will go into debit balance. There, suppose there is a running current account. There is a current account by a uh, corporate and it will be in credit balance. Then the corporate will come and say, I need an overdraft of 5 crores. I will give you my headquarters uh, under mortgage. You take my headquarters, uh, which is worth about 10 crores. You take it under mortgage and give me a OD, a secured OD of 5 crores. Then the bank considers the proposal. Bank verifies the value of the how, um, uh, corporate headquarters. Uh, then uh, it takes the mortgage of that building and gives a overdraft. The account will be running in debit balance from that moment onwards. There is no bar that the account cannot come to credit balance. The account can also come to credit balance. Suppose the corporate gets some substantial uh, money from some source, uh, they will deposit in the account, the account can come to credit. And the next day it can go to debit, depending upon the operational requirements of the corporate borrower. If it is in debit balance, interest will be charged. If it is in credit balance, no interest will be charged and no interest will be paid because it is a current account in which no interest can be paid. If the account goes to debit balance, on a daily balance basis, interest will be charged. That is overdraft. What is cash credit? Cash credit is also an overdraft. But in the case of cash credit, instead of buildings, it is a cash credit is given against goods and commodities. Suppose the same corporate comes and says, we are dealing with spinning. We want you to give us against our raw material of cotton, we want 10 crores. The bank will consider the working capital requirements of the corporate and then will give you a cash credit limit of 10 crores. It is called a cash credit because the uh, overdraft is allowed against commodities and goods. If the overdraft is allowed against the mortgage of a building or against some fixed deposit or against some LIC, uh, LIC uh, policy in the case of individual, in these cases it is called overdraft. It is only a terminology difference. In sum and substance, both overdraft and cash credit are the same. It is called cash credit wherever the underlying security is a commodity or a good. Any movable commodity is given as a security, then that is called cash credit. But in operational uh, matters, uh, both are the same. On a daily balance only under cash credit also interest will be charged. And if the cash credit comes into credit, uh, no interest will be charged because it becomes a current account. So these are the two popular uh, uh, wholesale credit products, uh, corporate credit products called packing credit. This question may be asked, this has been asked in many question, interviews as well as in the um, exams. What is packing credit? Packing credit is a credit given by a bank for the purpose of export. Somehow we have a, actually it should be called a pre-shipment credit. Because export credit given packing, export credit given before shipment is called a packing credit. But over the years, bank, you know, India bank, banks are there for so many years. Uh, over the years, it is being called a packing credit. Therefore, we are continuing with the tradition calling all the export credit which are pre-shipment purposes, given as pre-shipment purposes as packing credit in India. Maybe because what is the origin? I used to wonder at the origin of this word packing credit. Because uh, I, I have my own surmise, in the good old days, in 50s and 60s and all, India never packaged any of our goods. For example, oil. Oil was sold only in loose. You want to go oil, you have to take an oil tin and they will pour oil. Two liters oil will be poured and you have to bring the tin. Today what happens? Today it is put in sachet and given to you. It is put in some other container and sold to you. It is packaged and sold to you. In the good old days, goods never used to be packaged and they used to be packaged only for export. So, probably, this is only my surmise, I do not know for definitely whether this is true or not, this is only my surmise. Therefore, this, is, this export credit was started, export credit, people started calling it as packing credit because only for export purposes goods were packaged. 
So whatever it may be, packing credit in today means pre-shipment export credit given to your corporate for the purpose of export. Interest rate will be low. And there is some subvention also, interest subvention. Central government will sub subsidize some interest rate and therefore this account must be kept separate. That is why a separate account has been given. Then the corporates are given term loans. Term loans are for the purpose of starting of industry, for purchase of land, for purchase of machinery, for establishment of uh, industry, term loans are given. Bills discounting. After producing the commodity, a, a term, uh, they, 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 they sell the goods. For example, let us take a, an actual example, spinning mill. A spinning mill produces a lot of uh, spun uh, yarn. And that spun yarn is sold all over India. The goods will be sent through lorry or goods will be sent through railways and the railway receipt will be with the corporate or with the, the, the lorry receipt will be with the corporate. So the lorry receipt and the railway or the railway receipt will be accompanied along with a bill of exchange and given to the bank and the bank will discount the bank will purchase or discount the bills. If it is a usance bill it will be discounted. If it is a non-usance bill, on-demand payable bill it will be purchased and the amount credit will be given to the corporate. It is a post sale finance. Similarly, check purchase. Some corporates, they sell their goods and get their check. And these checks are, it will take some time for the check to be realized. So till that time, bank will uh, purchase the check and credit uh, this in the account of the uh, corporate borrower. But this is now going on declining because uh, now check, check it takes only one day to realize check. In the good old days it used to take 10 days to 15 days to realize check. Suppose you give me a check in Chennai, drawn on Ludhiana, about 15 years back it will take 15 days minimum to get the money back from Ludhiana. So for 15 days the corporate will be deprived of its money. But today under check truncation system in one day it will get credit. Therefore check purchase. Even though it was a very important limit uh, about 15 years back, uh, its importance and its role is dwindling as we are going ahead with the technological upgradation resulting in quicker realization of uh, quicker remittances and quicker realization of checks. Finally, the corporate product uh, which is uh, another important corporate product is letter of credit or guarantee. What is a letter of credit? Letter of credit is a uh, Normally people used to say it is a guarantee by a bank. It is not a guarantee. Let us not make a mistake. It should not be misconstrued as a guarantee. Letter of credit is a statement by a bank which says that the bank is willing to pay if the documents are drawn in accordance with the certain stipulations. If the seller, you have a corporate line, bank A is there. Bank A has got a corporate client and this corporate client is exporting goods to America. The American does not believe this corporate, this corporate does not believe the American, therefore they need an intermediary. The intermediary is the bank and the American bank opens a letter of credit. The American bank says that they are willing to pay so much dollar provided the following goods are following documents. Bank deals in documents, not goods. Following documents were provided. They will say bill of exchange. No, um, um, then uh, certificate, certificate of fumigation. They will give a list. If as per the list documents are produced, then the LC opening bank will pay the amount. Irrespective of whether the uh, importer is going to pay the amount or not. So opening of an LC is a commitment given by a bank on behalf of its customer in which the bank says I am willing to pay so much amount provided you produce the do following documents as per my stipulation irrespective of whether the customer whether my customer is going to pay me or not I will honor my commitment so this will facilitate a trade so that is what is called a letter of credit and then guarantee guarantee what happens guarantee is a separate instrument Suppose there is a customer, there is a road laying car, a corporate which is involved in laying of roads, national highway. So the national highway authorities will be giving a lot of raw material like bitumen and all to lay the road. What is the guarantee that this corporate will lay the road? They will come to the bank. Then the bank will give a financial guarantee on behalf of the, a performance guarantee on behalf of the corporate. 
the, the, the bank will say so and so corporate they have been given order for laying of so many kilometers in case they don't lay the so many kilometers of road as per the specification of the national highway authorities the bank will be willing to guarantee their performance and in failure of such a performance the bank will pay 2 crores to national highway authority so national highway authority will take the guarantee from the bank and then issue the order and the corporate will lay the road after the corporate is, uh, has completed laying the road to the satisfaction of national highway authority national highway authority will release the payment uh, as well as they will release the guarantee so a bank gives guarantee so that uh, the corporate is able to take the order and execute the order and the national highway authority is able to give the order to the corporate on the firm foundation that in case the corporate fails to perform there is a bank which will subsidize my loss which will give me back my loss so this is one of the important uh, uh, product which a corporate is given by a bank so these are the various corporate products that are in the kitty it is not all exhaustive this is only illustrative overdraft cash credit backing credit term loans, bills discounting, check purchase, LC or guarantee. So these are the major credit products both retail as well as corporate for a bank. As I told uh, extending credit is the second most important function of a bank because having taken the deposit a bank cannot remain still it has to use that money for giving loans.